Welcome to Electro Online. In this video, we're going to explore the concept that resistivity is not just a constant, but it actually changes with temperature. And the reason for that is as follows. As temperature increases, the vibration of the atoms in any sort of conductor will increase as well. In other words, as the temperature goes up, the kinetic energy of the atoms goes up, and the amplitude and the frequency of the vibration will increase as well. And because of that, there will be more collisions, and typically the distance between collisions will decrease. And you can see then that if you have a starting point for the resistivity of aluminum to be 2.75 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters at 20 degrees centigrade, what would be the resistivity at a higher temperature, like 420 degrees centigrade? Well, it turns out that here's the equation. We have to multiply the base resistivity at typically 20 degrees centigrade, with 1 plus alpha times T minus T sub naught. And so this would be the coefficient of the thermal change caused by the increase in temperature for the resistivity. And, well, I guess we would need that number, and I didn't write it down anywhere, so let me go look it up. I have it here somewhere. Alpha is equal to 0 0.0039 and that would be per uh, centigrade degree or per Kelvin degree uh, and that's how the resistivity would change for every degree centigrade. All right, let's go ahead and plug that in now and see what we get. So the, resist the resistivity at a temperature equal to 420 degrees centigrade is equal to the base resistivity times 1 plus alpha, which is 0 0.0039 per centigrade degree, times, that would be the temperature, 420 degrees centigrade, minus temperatures, so now that would be 20 degrees centigrade, like that. So this would be equal to the resistivity, and that would be at 20 degrees, times 1 plus 0 0.0039 per centigrade degree times, the difference here would be 400 centigrade degrees. And so now centigrade degrees can cancel out. Notice that we have degrees centigrade here, but when you take the difference, you end up with centigrade degrees. And now let's calculate that amount. So that would be uh, 0 0.0039 times 400, which is 1.56. So this would be equal to the resistivity at 20 degrees centigrade times 1 plus 1.56, which is equal to resistivity at 20 degrees centigrade times 2.56. So notice it would be 2.56, the resistivity at 20 degrees centigrade. That is actually quite a difference. So you can see that typically as conductors heat up, their resistivity goes up, Therefore, the resistance goes up, and therefore they will draw more, uh, they will lose more power. But that's something we'll get into at a later time. All right, let's plug in what these are. So that would be equal to 2.75 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters, multiplied times 2.56. And that would be times 2.75, so that would be equal to... 7.04 times 10 to the minus 8 ohms times meters. And notice it does make quite a bit of difference when the temperature goes way up. For small temperature changes, we can probably ignore it, but for large temperature changes, it does make quite a difference and something to take into account. And that's how it's calculated. 